A small reminder for you all. Make sure to watch this video till the end as we are going to ask the question of the week and by answering it, you win exciting prizes. Also, we will be announcing the winner of the previous week. See you at the end. Hello everyone. Welcome back to yet another video by Decoranthum. Today's video is a very special one as we have with us the founders of Decoranthum, Konak and Saiba with us. Hi guys. Hello. Hi. So stay tuned till the end as we talk all about the company and so much more. So Saiba, you've gone from being a dentist to an interior designer. How has the journey been so far? Tremendous, like I said the last time in the video. Um, I think we've gone multi-folds from what we had envisioned earlier and uh, it's, it's never been better. I look forward to working each day almost and I think that's the best space to be for any professional. So Kuna, uh, we know that Saiba was a dentist. Uh, can you tell us a little about yourself? How did you stumble upon this industry? Well, I'm glad I was not a dentist. I would have been a really bad dentist. But yeah, um, I was into edtech and uh, I did marketing and sales for a very long time, almost like eight, nine years. And uh, this journey just happened, you know. Uh, we were looking at doing constructions. Um, we did start with a few projects here and there, but then eventually it was uh, designing and interiors that was meant to be. Uh, so we're glad we're here and we're doing good. Nice. I many of our audiences had this question and I hope it has been answered now. Sure. sure. Uh, so, Kanak, uh, how is your experience today helping you in running this company successfully? Um, I'm glad that you are calling it a success already. Yeah, I think it's a journey that we are uh, all facing. But um, uh, what I did uh, when I was working with a few companies uh, I worked with in the past, um, all I learned was a lot of um, aggregation, you know, um, of starting, starting small and, you know, adding more clients as you go, uh, getting them the right solutions. And I think which is why we are here um, with the size we are with uh, today. Um, you know, we, we started very small. Um, we kept on uh, adding to our uh, products and services. And now we are here today with, with a lot of clients that we have amassed and um, a lot of people we have served uh, to in the last few years. So I'm really happy that my experience is coming into some play today. Mm -hmm. It's really nice to know. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Can we know how the name uh, Decor Anthem was finalized or did you have any other options in mind, any other names? What's the story behind it? I think I would take up that. Um, <laughs> we did have a lot of uh, names that came to our minds, uh, but we really wanted something quirky, something that catches some attention. Uh, so Decor Anthem is what we actually found um, when we were looking for one for the YouTube channel. Hmm. But for the main interiors company, which is called as Brintext, which is uh, abbreviation for Bricks Interiors Ex Exteriors, um, uh, that was the you know brand name so to say but it was not uh, that easy for one to catch on to so we wanted a different name for the YouTube channel and after uh, you know uh, looking at a lot of names Decor Anthem sounded really quirky and uh, really um, attractive so that's how we sort of got this name. That's quite a unique name actually. Uh, it is, it is. It's got a like lot the... of attention. Yeah. yeah, we wanted people to remember the one time that they hear the name and that's I think has worked. Definitely work. <laughs> right. Uh, so uh, we get a lot of questions uh, from when people hand over keys to you to the final home tour shoot. Hmm. So can you tell our audience how smooth is this journey for them? Um, I think it's very smooth, I would say. Um, we have very well compartmentalized all the areas that we are focusing on. Design phase is separate from the execution phase and uh, the client has to put all their energies in only the design phase I feel okay. and once that is uh, finalized and signed off the execution phase actually does not require the clients to be physically there they could be as involved as they want to be that's how we are able to cater a lot of clients in the US, UK uh, a lot of other countries because they do not really need to be physically there to follow the progress we send them updates uh, we do everything that's uh, already finalized and um, that's what we deliver so they don't need to be really there it's mm -hmm. is their call so it's very very smooth okay. the, once they finalize the designs they just need to come for the final handover if that's what they want well, that's nice to know uh, when did you hire your very first employee and uh, how was the whole process of trusting someone uh, with the company that is very close to your heart mm -hmm. i think it was back in 2018 yeah, I think beginning of uh, 18, precisely January 18, okay. 
uh, when we first got our uh, you know employee um, we were uh, having a lot of thoughts around when to start when to build a team whether first we sort of carry on for a longer time uh, with what we were doing as just the two of us and also the office that we had set up in the beginning um, did have some expense so we had to look at expenses as well but i think uh, eventually when we thought we were ready for it and we needed one uh, person to uh, you know sort of work with us we got it started in january 18 it wasn't easy obviously in the beginning to um, uh, fully understand i mean i think tr- trust is not the point we were really yeah. concerned about but yeah. we were rather concerned about the uh, the 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 need that we had you know the void that we were feeling we were not very sure as to we hire somebody in execution or we hire somebody for sales or we hire somebody for accounting or we hire somebody who can take care of all of the things so i think eventually then we hired somebody for execution because there is where we needed hands um and then we figured that we needed hands everywhere <laughs> <laughs> and then we started building the team okay yeah. the office uh, at kajabura is very beautiful i must say yeah so uh, Did you always have the plan of making a lounge and a corporate uh, space under one roof? Uh, yeah, I think our plan was to make both under one yeah. roof, and we were pretty excited for what we were doing there. Um, it was a much bigger space than we had earlier, and we were really uh, into making something that uh, that gives an idea to the clients uh, who walk in in the first place to uh, to sort of know what. our uh, thought process what our kind of designs are um but i think eventually it got uh, consumed like a, a corporate office more and much lesser as a lounge uh, mm-hmm. we had to add more spaces now uh, so right now we started as lounge and corporate office both but right now it's majorly uh, used as the corporate office and not as much as the lounge we would be adding lot more spaces for uh, many more things to go now okay Mm-hmm. How long did it take to complete the construction of the office? What were the hurdles you faced during the process? So I think the building was already constructed. We uh, took a bare shell space in a already set up building. Okay. So construction um, effectively wasn't involved at all. But uh, obviously when you when you pick up a bare shell space there is a lot of work that needs to be put in. Um and uh, just when we had taken the office we we saw covid hitting COVID. everybody and uh it was worse but then i think um eventually it took us a, took us about 4 months mm-hmm. from the time we got the keys and uh, to the time we actually started our operations um yeah i think just the right time so even with covid uh, it didn't take us very very long so mm-hmm. we're happy about that nice so we understand that every business has its own challenges so what are the challenges have you faced in integrity design I think there are many challenges that uh, one would face in any business but um, in this one specifically I think the biggest challenge I would um I would point out at would be uh, visualization you know um people who are dreaming about their um, uh, homes um they would have had some knowledge uh, that they would have picked up from here and there but then when we're trying to explain them what we really want to tell them um pictures and videos may not do full justice you know even though we would be very sure about what we really want to tell them uh, or show them um only the i mean the, we have advanced a lot there are like really good tools uh, that can do really nice 3d's but then the kind of texture or the kind of colors that you would see in a real a uh, laminate or a surface that you would want to uh, put in their houses may not come out as clearly in a 3d um so i think visualization has been a, a bit of a challenge we have been improving with that with with the technology that is coming in but then at the same time um uh, physical um environment needs to be mixed with the digital one a physical environment or a physical setup is one where we could actually possibly show them you know wardrobes or cabinets that we are actually trying to put in their houses uh, but but a couple of cabinets again would not give them the entirety um so it has to be some um physical experience um, at an experience center uh, combined with some digital experience that we can get through a technology based platform so that is something that i think we have been working on and that needs to be bettered um, so that i think has been our greatest uh, challenge okay mm-hmm. so where do you see decoranthum in the next 5 years i think we have a lot of plans in the pipeline uh we'd be dwelling in a lot more segments related to interior designing we'd be 
um, offering a lot of products related to interior designing very very soon mm -hmm. uh, we're already working on it and uh, hopefully you'll see a lot more things in the market with our brand pretty soon i think okay that's nice to know good dance <laughs> Thank you so much Kanak and Saiba. I am Thank you. pretty sure that our subscribers questions have been answered today. We hope so. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of fun shooting this. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. So if you have any further questions for our founders or the team, do let us know in the comment section and we'll be back with a part two. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment too, please. Yeah, do that. <laughs> we'll be coming with a lot of videos in our channel. Stay tuned. Bye bye. A very big congratulations to the winner of this week.